Hey guys, my name is Titan and I welcome you to this 22nd episode of my city skylines project Widerstein. Now before we dive into the episode, let me say that um, yes, this is a bit of a shorter episode um, this week and well, I'm sorry for that, I didn't have much time to um, do a better and yeah, do a better longer episode with more content because there's there are quite a few assets um, lacking currently that I need for um, for continuing the old town and so I thought let's have a, sm a shorter episode here with another um, kind of filler topic. But um, that being said, today we are going to um, build the sewage treatment plant of Wederstein or more like well the, the sewage treatment plant for the whole region and uh, I think that's also an and it's yeah, uh, sorry, an interesting topic to have for um, this episode. But before I really construct or build the um, treatment plant, here I'm starting just a few, um, yeah, a few houses um, because why not? Even though I can imagine living just across the street from the sewage treatment plant. Well, let's call it, there are better places to live, or more desirable, more more desirable, I, I guess, more desirable places to live, but, um, well, it's not too far from reality. Um, there are, of course, um, areas where houses are almost next to, it, uh, next to such um, facilities, so, sometimes it is necessary. And as we hear, um, well, what you see me doing here is the stuff I always do in almost every episode is um, houses with backyards and all that stuff. And I think by now you got the point of that. I think it's okay if I talk about something else. And that is that next week there won't be an episode of Widerstein. I'm sorry for that, but I just, um, I won't have the time to do it. Um, you see that this episode already is pretty late because I yeah I, I wasn't able to pre-produce it and so it is late today and next week I am gonna be in the um, yeah, in a small town called Gießen or being more precise in Wetzlar which is another town nearby because there I have an interview for my um, yeah, scholarship that um, possibly might pay me my um, my university um, life whatever and so I won't have time to um, yeah produce an episode but what might be interesting for you is that the town I'm staying in has some very beautiful half timbered houses and maybe um, or if you want and if I want and well you count you can count on me that I want um, I'm at least gonna do or gonna take some photographs of half timbered houses and make some more half timbered houses for the game. I think you can count on that. So maybe that is something for you instead. Though it'll take much more time than, than just this week. But um, yeah, that is the reason why there won't be an episode of Wiederstein next week. But after that, we are, um, well, we are fully on, on schedule and, well, that. And I think until then I also have enough time to, yeah, to build and create all the necessary assets I still need for um, the continuation of the, uh, yeah, of the old town. And so, please don't wonder. Now back to, um, yeah, back to what I'm doing here on screen. As I said, it's basically the same stuff I always do, um, with houses and backyards and all that. Um, but here now I'm using some more uh, modern houses or some more contemporary houses. And the reason for that basically is just that I wanted to have some... I just wanted to have some other houses here. Not always the same of my... Yeah, of my cube houses. I just wanted some something else here. A different style of, of houses. And... Yeah, I think that turned out pretty good to have here so um, it would be something like those cube houses were built on the or in the beginning of the 
Uh, more like in the end of the um, 19th century than the beginning of the 20th century, but whatever. So they were built um, at the turn of the century, or centuries, and nothing else was here. Somewhat later they built a sewage treatment plant and I think during the turn of the um, 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 millennia there were more houses needed in Bederstein or whatever and so um, these modern houses um, were constructed here because it turned out that the sewage treatment plant isn't that much of a problem here um, next to the residence so um, people bought this land and built their houses because they thought it's uh, cheap enough so they um, yeah I guess it makes sense and so now we are actually um, starting with the sewage treatment plant now I had the idea of uh, making the sewage sewage that's a pretty um, difficult word I might say um, I had the idea of doing this treatment plant in a or having it as a bit of an older facility that got um, got constructed somewhere during the um, GDR times when Widerstein was under um, communist communist um, rule as um, all of East Germany was and that's why I'm using this Soviet building here the Soviet administration or plant administration building as yeah well as the administration building for the um, so it's so rich um, treatment plant um, because it definitely fits the style of the whole region here and just by using this certain style um, this the, the German name would be Plattenbau or plate construction probably because those houses usually were um, constructed pretty fast um, somewhere after the war and that is due to ma mass produced um, plates they were made of or tiles they were made of and so it's plate or tile um, construction method whatever and th this style um, you can see this style very often in um, well in the region here and so I thought it definitely fits to have it as the sewage treatment plant here and so just by using that style that already gives a bit more history to um, yeah to the to this facility here and when it's about design um, or the the overall design of this um, facility I have to say I have no idea how um, how these sewage treatment plants work I, I literally have no clue um, what goes where and, and what is the first step in, in, in the cleaning process of the water and what is the second step and I don't even know if the water after it is cleaned um, is, is uh, yeah, goes into the river or if it goes back into the um, yeah drinking water um, grid I have no idea and so what I did is um, I looked for a city that is about the same um, size and the same yeah, cultural background as Wederstein and I came about the city of Litomerice in the Czech Republic which is um, another city on the river Elbe which is the original river for Veda. Um, it's just well a bit behind the border of Germany so it's let me guess just 50 kilometers away from Wederstein or where Wederstein would be and so I thought that is perfect and I modeled um, this sewage treatment plant after the one in Litmerice and I, I, I still don't know if it makes sense how I laid the whole um, yeah, if, how I laid the whole facility out but I'm at least thinking that it makes sense and it looks plausible enough to me and another thing that I would like to say is um, they aren't on screen anymore um, but I used Avanya's um, oil tanks um, Avanya's spherical oil tanks as um, digesters or digest towers um, I don't know um, you know those um, yeah, buildings or those um, structures here you see them and um, those structures where gases and um, yeah 
gases and then other um, side products that um, that that uh, yeah developed during the cleaning process of the water where they um, were are collected and then I don't know if they are burned to um, get some electricity out of them or um, whatever but um, I think you um, get what I'm saying so I used um, Avanya's oil yeah, oil tanks as those um, digesters and I think they may make a pretty good job as, as um, yeah as those and Maybe that's something that you um, also might want to do. And another thing that I would like to mention is that um, in the beginning of the process of building this facility, I really was uh, I really wasn't satisfied with how it looked because um, it looked empty, a bit too clean, and all that. And so I used I really used a lot of, of, of decals here. I mean, you just saw me um plopping well, broken damaged decals on every road in this facility and on every transition from pavement to grass just to make it really look old and or make it look make it appear old and, and used and maybe make it seem that a renovation of the whole uh, facility would be necessary in fact. and so uh, here I'm also using a lot of grass that um, already grows on the on the pavement of the of the area, just to make it well, yeah, just to make it look more used, old, run down, uh, whatever. I think you uh, get the point here. And I also think that um, yeah, it turned out um, pretty good and believable. Um, well, that's what. Um, always the important thing it has to be believable and um, coming back to what I earlier said with the um, yeah with the uh, with the uh, yeah surrounding area of, of, of those facilities um, that it usually um, stinks around those and it's um, not very well pleasant to um, live next to those that's why I um, placed the, the administration building um, like like a wall between the um, surrounding houses and the um, yeah cleaning process um, 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 clarifying um, devices whatever and then some trees um, towards the street just to, to block that whole area and let the um, bad smells stay in the um, facility and not disturb the um, yeah, residents that live here. And just based on the fact that um, there uh, are modern houses here that got constructed recently, I suppose um, yeah, the trees and that house block the smells pretty good. But um, well, I already said this is a short episode, so um, I already have to say thank you for watching this episode. I definitely have uh, fun with the cinematics at the end of this episode and also um, tell me if you like this episode with this um, kind of a bit filler episode with um, another topic and yeah that's it if you um, like what I'm doing in general feel free to um, like and also subscribe to my channel and hit the tiny little bell icon to um, not miss any future episodes if you want to support me further, you can, of course, um, support me on Patreon. And by saying that, a huge thanks to, um, to the people who already support me on Patreon. Because I love you guys for that. You are amazing. Now I also have a Discord server. If you want to um, have a chat with me or others about um, my series or other projects, feel free to join that server. The link is in the description. And if there is nothing else to say... And I don't think so. Um, have a great time. No episode um, next week. Don't forget that. Have a great time. We'll see you in the next episode. Until then, have fun and bye.